Good day students. Welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over an example on how to solve work, work problems using the bucket method. Don't forget to visit our website at mathgodserve.com for access to a wide variety of math tutorials ranging from algebra all the way to calculus. Let's take a look at question number one. It reads, it takes Jennifer eight hours to clean an attic. Jose can clean the same attic in 11 hours. If they worked together, how long will it take them? So we're going to solve this problem using the bucket method. Okay, so we have um, the buckets set up. So the question is, what are we adding in this problem? In this problem, we are going to be adding the rates. Okay, we're going to be combining Jennifer's rate with Jose's rate. If we can find out what the combined rate is, then we can know how long it will take them to combine to finish this one assignment, which is to clean an attic. Okay, so in the first bucket, we'll have Jennifer's rate. And then in the second bucket, we'll have Jose's rate. That's on the left side of the equation. So if we combine Jennifer's rate and Jose's rate, will have the combined rate. Okay, the combined rate is Jennifer and Jose working together. All right, now to populate our buckets with the right values, we need to determine the equation that relates all the measures that we have here. Okay, so the main equation we are looking at is the amount of work done is equal to the rate at which they work times the time. Now, since we are adding rates, we want to solve this equation for rates. Okay, so we'll divide both sides by time. So if amount of work each one completes is equal to rate times time, then you notice that the rate is equal to amount of work divided by time. Okay, so we're going to be populating these buckets with amount of work, amount of work that goes on top for A and on the bottom, the time. Okay, so if you divide the amount of work by the time, you can find out what the rate is. Now let's start with Jennifer. How much work is Jennifer doing? Jennifer is simply cleaning one attic, okay? Now, how long does it take Jennifer to clean that one attic? It takes her eight hours, all right? Now let's, let's shift to Jose. How much work is Jose doing? Here, Jose is cleaning the same attic, so the same one job, which is to clean the attic. How long does it take Jose to clean the attic? It takes him 11 hours, okay? Now for the combined rate, how much work are they doing together? they are doing the same job together, okay? So working in a combined fashion, they're cleaning the same one attic. How long does it take them to clean that one attic when they're working together? Well, that's what we're looking for. The question states, if they worked together, how long will it take them? So this, we can call it x all right so our goal is to solve for x 
if we can translate this bucket equation into an algebraic equation. Now, what is the relationship between rate, amount of work, and time? We see the relationship here. The rate is equal to the amount of time divided by, I'm sorry, it's the rate. The rate is the amount of work divided by time. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the equation. Jennifer's rate, so the relationship here is division, so this is divide, divide, divide. Jennifer's rate is one over eight, eight hours to clean one attic, plus Jose's rate is one over 11, 11 hours to clean the same one attic, equals to their combined rate, same one, and the combined rate is x, what we're looking for. I mean, the time is x, which is what we're looking for. All right, so we'll simply solve this algebraic equation, and that will give us our final answer. So the first thing we're going to do is combine these two like terms. They're fractions, so we have to find the LCD. The LCD of 8 and 11 is 88, okay? So multiply this by 11, and then multiply this by 8. If we combine them, we'll have 11 plus 8 divided by 88 equals 1 over x. 11 plus 8 is 19. 19 divided by 88 is 1 over x. Now we can cross multiply, okay? The denominator gets multiplied with that numerator, and then the denominator on the right gets multiplied with the numerator on the left. So what does that yield? It gives us 19x equals 88. Now we'll divide both sides of the equation by 19 so we can isolate x. The time it will take them to complete that one job if they're working together. Okay, so we're going to plug this into our calculators. And if you divide in your calculators to two decimal places, you have 4.63. All right, so that's your final result. Now, what is the significance of this answer? Let's go ahead and place our results in the context of the problem. We were asked to find how long it would take them if they worked together. So let's go ahead and um, put our answer in the context of the problem. Okay, so it will take Jennifer and Jose 4.63 hours to clean the attic if they worked together. Okay? So that's the combined um, time. It takes them to complete that one task. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. If you have any questions about this video or you would like any further clarification, feel free to include that in the comments section below the video. You can also feel free to request tutorials in the comment section below. Don't forget to visit our website at math.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.